Hello and welcome back to Steve Vapes. Today we're looking at the Stingray Mech Clone. Let's get into this one. The Stingray Clone from ISK E6. Standard plain box. Bit of a warning on the back. It's upside down. Basically saying it's an alternative to smoking tobacco. And you have to be 18 to use them. Well, we knew that already. Let's get rid of the box. Inside the box you will find your mech mod. And a nice little velvet pouch to keep it in. That also works as a nice little polishing cloth sometimes. As you see, the, the bottom and top section have a patina on. Because that's the setup that I have been using for well over a week. The middle section I haven't used as of yet, so it's still nice and shiny. So the whole device will be nice and shiny like the middle when you first get it. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Is it going to do it? No. Yes. That is the Stingray logo. Nicely engraved. It's not painted on or anything. It is actually engraved into the metal. So on the top, it's a floating 510 connector. These little gaps at the side here is venting for your battery in case you have one that vents. There's also battery venting on the bottom. They look sealed, but there is actually gaps for your battery to vent safely. Well, if a battery ever vents safely at the bottom. So let's strip her down. Start at the top. We'll have a look at the, the actual floating pin. Okay, so as you say, your 510 pin is in there. It is a stainless steel 510 pin and it just floats. So it adjusts with the battery. There's no movement on that at all. It adjusts with the battery and your ATI as you put them on, which I'll go into more detail as well when we stick a ATI on top in a second. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this mech mod can be set up to use 18350, 18500 and 18650 batteries, which is nice. And you do get a nice stealth vape <laughs> off of the 18350. Let's get this bad boy off. Okay, so your mechanism's there magnetic switch I'm not gonna strip it right the way down because it's a bugger to get back together so inside it's just two resisting magnets that force away from each other they are really powerful as well and that creates your firing switch on the bottom which I must say it's actually a copy of the nemesis firing switch but it works really well really well these magnets are resisting like hell. We're back in nice and snug. So, there's your tube. Straight down. Nicely mach machined in there. No snags. Nothing sharp that's going to rip your batteries. Absolutely beautiful. So, let's break it down. And the threads on this are smooth as hell. Absolutely lovely. One thing though, with it being a brass mod, you don't want to be too rough with it because brass is a lot softer than stainless steel. Well, that's your locking mechanism on the end. It's just a, a standard locking ring. Again, like the firing switch itself, the locking mechanism is very similar to the Nemesis. The Nemesis is quite a bit more chunky though on their locking ring. So let's set her up. And when I said a stealthy vape, set her up with no battery in for now, just so we can show you. For your 18350 battery, you will literally only be using your graphic piece 
the firing pin and the top plate. So let's grab the Royal Hunter. Now a little bit of a shout out to one of my favorite reviewers, Professor Vapes. How are you doing, Steve? <laughs> this, my friend, would be one of your favorites because this is stealthy as hell. Set up with the 18350. It's tiny, absolutely but It fits in the palm of my hand. Absolutely bloody tiny. Lengthways, you, look, you, you're not seeing anything, anything at all. That is lovely. So that is what you're gonna, your setup's gonna look like for the 18350 battery. As you say, you can use the 18500s and the 18650s as well. Your 18500 is the one that I haven't used, which would be the small cylinder piece here. You just whack that on, and then you'd throw on the top plate with your Etty as well. Let's set her up to be an 18650. As you see, the threads on this are so, so smooth. It is machined lovely. There we go. Now, you can see the join a little bit. You couldn't at first, but that's just wear and tear, the patina that I've created through use. And then you just whack your top plate back on there. Now... As a rule for me with mechs, and if it has got a floating 510 in, I will always put the Atty on first before I add a battery. So let's take this bottom off. There we go. Right, so let's pop a battery in her. And we will go for standard Samsung 25. Slider in there nicely. So, as we were saying, I always put the battery, I mean the Atty first, then add the battery to this. Because as you adjust the bottom, the battery becomes compressed from the firing mechanism and the pin to become a snug fit. So, no rattle, lovely jubbly. If you wanted to swap out the Atty, which is Obviously, perfectly fine. And the reason I always do the battery first with mechs, with this floating 510 pin, I don't know if you're going to be able to see very clearly, but whack the tsunami on here. See how we've got that gap now? It's not much, but it's there. It, and that bugs the hell out of me. OCD, bells ringing in my head. It's like, no. So, bottom pin goes down. And then, now that's loose at the bottom, battery's loose, you've got room to manoeuvre. And with the floating 510, you tighten the tsunami, there you go, that gap completely gone. Tighten your switch back up, so it's nice and snug, rattle's gone, gap's gone, bloody beautiful. And this thing, the graphics on it, I'm loving. I love, love, love that engraving. Absolutely beautiful. So, the locking ring, so smooth. Let's get into that more in detail, but I think we've seen everything she does. Let's pop up and have a vape. Okay, so we've left the tsunami up on top. Now, the locking ring that I was talking about is so easy to use. Just a straight spin there and it's locked. That won't fire now. Just a straight spin back. Good to go. Good to go. It is just a simple design and it is beautiful. And it does look good as a setup. There is, as I say, a slight patina now on the setup that I'm using for the 18650. So, it, I can't really fault this at all. No rattle, no nothing. Button fires every time. I'm, I'm struggling to find fault. And when I tell you how much the clone actually is, yeah, you're probably going to be surprised. So, quick hit. I'm 
I'm absolutely loving this setup at the minute. Absolutely loving it. So, price, price, price. Well, I picked mine up from Vape Station for the purposes of this review, but he retails them at £18. Seriously. <laughs> 18 quid. And it is virtually the same as the original. There's nothing really. The mechanism is slightly different. The materials used. That's it. 18 quid. You, you can't go wrong. Seriously can't. I can't say more. 18 quid. Oh. I love it. Yes, it's a clone. Meh. Haters out there that want the authentic mods. Really? Nobody really gives a damn. But, hey. So thanks for watching Steve Vapes. And we'll catch you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.